Okay, since th they they are now gone, I'm going to do another episode of You Don't Know Jack. And hopefully by the time that I finish this episode, they will be back again. So this time we're doing digital utensils, electronic utensils, alone. Uh, just give me a second. There we go. So yeah, I don't have anybody, but, well, I do have them, I guess don't have them going to be in this recording. Hopefully. Excellent. Now let me tell you how to get playful. Uh, Many questions will prevail themselves upon you. You need to wingle out the correct choice and impress the boutonniere next to it. And you have to watch out for the timer that's ticking away. The more promptly you buzz in, the more regal tender you'll make. <laughs> or lose. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. And we get a monster check, please. Six, five, Go to black. four. Seven. W -E -O -B. Okay, the yeah, assistant. well, me, me and uh, Trey hey, Gordon and Sawyer and just gonna do some, um, off the record, uh, Minecraft stuff, that's why, single player game I see, yeah, thanks for making us go through all the effort, <laughs> and that's why we were all cluster freaked in the last episode. electronic utensils. Say goodbye to analog food consumption. Say hello to digitensils. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor electronic to get yourself utensils. some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> this I've got to see. All right, here goes nothing. First, I'm converting. Woohoo! If Miley Cyrus moved overseas and changed her name to Kilometery Cyrus, how much of her name would she lose? 14%, 38%, 52%, or 69%? Uh. One kilometer equals 0 0.621 miles. So Miley would be shaving off 0.38 or 38% from her former name. I should I should have just took the 69. Oh, sorry. I mean box it. Loud. That would truly be the best of both worlds. I meant worlds. to box it, not circle. Sorry for the offense again. Here's one for you. Ominous news in 30 minutes or less. If the CEO of Little Caesars Pizza gets an anonymous email oh, that says, Beware the Ides of March, what should he add into his I... calendar? March 1, beware, beware. March 8, beware, beware. March Guess what 15, I'm doing. Beware, beware. Or March 30. And now your dough belongs Another to Another episode. Correct answer, show yourself. Because the you said that you were going to go the 15th clean of the, the moon. Month, a date that Julius Caesar was warned of and But this time they can't actually on. hear you. Little Caesars because was actually come founded by Julius Caesar's son instead. who vowed to avenge his father's death. And then he got bored of that and started making pizza. Yes, they hear me talking to myself. Why not try? I'm kicking you out. Please vote for me. On Survivor, contestants who've already been voted out come back to vote on the season's winner. But if Survivor added a grand tribal council with the same duties as a grand jury, what would they do? Find a replacement for Jeff Probst, select um, the contestants for the regular tribal council, review who can use the immunity idol, or decide if there will be a tri- It's too bad this game doesn't have any physical challenges. Maybe you'd be good at those. Okay, um, it's going to be really hard to focus. A grand jury decides whether or not a case will even go to trial. Personally, I think the show would be a lot better because I have the power to an evil devil whispering in my ears right now. I wonder if they'd still draw little frowny faces next to the names if it was a vote for lethal injection. <laughs> Up next... Rub some sherbet on your knee. <laughs> oh my and God. guess what? It's a this or that. Okay, this or that. Shut up now. I'm going to read off seven things. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's the name of a Baskin Robbins ice cream flavor, or the name of a the name of a pain relieving uh, The name of a Baskin Robbins ice cream ointment. flavor, or the name of a cream, pain relieving cream. Press the number or, one. Or if it's pain relief cream. Press two. Each right answer yeah, scoops uh, yeah, up three hundred dollars for you. But get one wrong and you'll be aching for money. And you gotta do <laughs> it in thirty seconds. Cool, let's do it. Okay. Asper cream. Asper cream. 
Mississippi mud. Mississippi mud. Gold medal ribbon. Gold medal ribbon. Icy hot. Icy hot. Australian dream. Australian dream. Mineral ice. Mineral ice. Love potion 31. Love potion 31. Oh, well, you know what they I missed say, that last one. I, I missed scream, the second last scream. one. We all scream for the fact that you didn't quite get all the correct answers on this dis or dat. Well, dream. excuse me, but six, of, six out of seven is pretty good. Now, if they could only come out with some sort I, of I was actually talking to brain co freeze. Cookie this time. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, oh well. Here we have Gek of the Morning to you. Imagine that the Geico Gecko saved so much money on car insurance that he quit show business. <laughs> what would he be able to do at his retirement party? Kiss all the ladies with his forked tongue? Oh. Breathe with oh, gills? Oh, oh, oh! Long what answer right of the day. Looks like. Although they don't have forked tongues, gills, or poisonous bites, geckos do have adhesive pads on their feet for climbing. I got the long answer of the day. Very few, interestingly enough, walk on their hind legs, yeah. speak, or give a shit about car insurance. Geckos do not have forked tongues. But speaking of forks, you want an electronic spoon. I want an electronic digitensils, electronic utensils. Take the manual labor out of your meals. This wrong answer of the game has earned you four thousand dollars. I guess, uh, I guess want an electronic spoon. Spend it all in spoon. one place. A rechargeable electric spoon. Let's say so long to round one. And surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. <laughs> Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. It's time. Oh, don't tell me you have to leave again. Fuck her up for a real wine connoisseur. If you know me, you know I love me some sparkling wine, and I love to sweat. I'm a sweaty, sparkling wine drinker, basically. Okay. With that in mind, if brute deodorant were like brute champagne, how could I describe my armpits after applying it? Quite sweet, nice and dry, extremely fruity, uh, what's or strangely non-bubbly. Taste like. Ah, uh, stupid person to ask. Fruity? Oh, like I'm the only person who cornrows my armpit hair? Yeah, but you wouldn't know anything about champagne. Sparkling wines like champagne are classified by their sweetness. The least sweet or driest is the brute. The only problem with using brute, though, is that every time I hail a cab, a cork shoots out of my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, not so little Miss Sunshine. Okay. Considering the past winners of the Miss Universe pageant, which of these child beauty pageant winners will most likely grow up to become Miss Universe? Little Miss Russian Snowflake? Little Miss Venezuelan Tropical Rainstorm? Little Miss Thai Monsoon? Uh, that, that was, I, I meant to push for that one. I meant to press for. Watch how easy this is. After Miss USA, Miss Venezuela has won the most Miss Universe titles. So little Miss Venezuelan tropical rainstorm stands the Shut best up, chance voice of in my head. becoming Miss Universe. You know, I say there's no age too young to enter a girl into a beauty pageant. I say take some sonogram photos, draw some lipstick on them, attach them to sticks, and <laughs> dance them around the stage. <laughs> Poor chicken is picking out a mate. Oh, this one's known as <laughs> Zebras Who Blow Whistles. You know, it seems like every other year some NFL football team changes cities or just disappears. It's the it's the thing, but put the choices into order, then buzz in to see if you are right. Question. And as always, there's an extra $1,000 for a correct answer on this one. Based on the IUCN red list of threatened species, put these NFL teams in order from most and to put least the NFL teams Detroit Lions, Cincinnati Bengals, Carolina Panthers, Bengals, Lions, Panthers, Panthers, Lions, Bengals, Lions, Bengals, Lions, Bengals, Panthers, or Bengals, Panthers, Lions. That's just silly. Oh my god, so I'm so obvious. Sucking. Bengal tigers, like all tigers, are endangered. It's Lions are vulnerable, opposite. and panthers, also known as cougars or pumas, are not in trouble at all. The uh, pig that made the football is pretty endangered. No, uh, too. um, the put the choices into the in order, then was in to see if you are right. Question. Try. I had My them completely in reverse. Weird. 
Which Friends characters are least likely to be friends with benefits? Chandler and Rachel, Julie and Phoebe, Ross and Monica, or Chandler and Phoebe? Are you kidding? Joey's the most likely to have sex with any of them. Uh, Here's what you meant to pick. I wish I could. Ross I wish Monica I watched brother Friends and sisters, so in order to be, be able to answer super that question. Gross. Boss Although, and Monica, though. No, no, no. It's super gross. Hold me, never let me go. Take a stab at. My belief system really makes my eyes Please. pop. On what show would Stacy and Clinton advise against wearing zippers? What not to wear if you're Mormon? What not to wear if you're Mennonite? What not to wear if you're Amish? Or what not to wear if you're Muslim? Um... That answer is not very flattering. Ugh. Want to see the answer? Amish? Although yeah, they all it's always have strict clothing restrictions. Uh, no offense the Amish to are my, the ones who are no super anti-zippers. Any Amish. Uh, and when was the last time you saw an Amish person there, in a but, tube top? Um, up, Amish. It always Wait, who am I talking to? They're Amish not playing this game. When it comes to these kinds of questions, whenever Amish com comes up, again, Brace they cannot hear you. For the so stop when your you talking. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. Four thousand dollars for a right answer. Four thousand gone if you're wrong. And most importantly, Remember okay, that's just going a little bit too far. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You're the boss of me. You're if the boss of me is the Jack say attack. Yes, sir or ma'am. Good luck. Okay. White. What? What? Yeah, well, I would. Yeah. E Street Band. I have no idea what any of these are. Professor McGonagall, this one I know. Professor Dumbledore. Peter Parker, JJJ. James Bond. Who's James Bond? Boss. James Bond's Oh my god, this lime and lemon. Who's yeah. Uh, who's Liz Lemon? Elaine to fit me. Human. I don't know who the passive people are. Think Springsteen. That one I do know. Ah! 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 Wow. There you have it. Well, there goes all the money I guess wow, got I've from the last game. Skills on a ladder. Hmm, I guess that only works for dancing. No, quite I literally. I, last game, I ah, must have got eighteen thousand dollars. Oh, burned! This time, I guess lost eighteen thousand dollars. Nice one, folks. Okay, Danny, let us know what we're doing. Just give me the single. Hey, you, you got me the continuation. You got the long your child Aim. is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel Bleep. world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for you. you oh look, the spoiler squat, alarm kid. just you came in. Like Sorry. It's not you, Eric. You. It's me. You're fired. But for now, that. you can still protect him with the no surprise Jack in the box. Yeah, but they hey, didn't hear your name. But I'm gonna pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised, on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company. Because there are enough surprises in the world. Hey, we're waiting for Sawyer, okay? So that's this episode of You Don't Know Jack. Until next time, this is Eddie Embus. Well, I'm going to do another episode, but until the next time, this is Eddie Embus signing out. Rated NC-17.